I think all of his onesies are shrinking. It's a good thing he's a 24 month old. Oh wait, no, he's only 13 months old. You don't think he's tired? He looks so tired. The last few days has been really weird. I set out with these food goals, I've set out with these productivity goals, and on the food goals, I've completely fallen apart, right? I snack all day, I eat when I come home, I'm gaining weight, it's all headed in the wrong direction. But on the productivity side of things, things are going amazing. I am just finished writing the fourth blog post of Blogmas, where I'm writing a meaningful, decent blog post every day, sharing on social media, pushing it out there, and actually telling people about it. And that part of my life is going fantastic. Everything in the office is going fantastic. We're headed towards the 9.0 release of Angular, which is a really big deal. Everything seems to be coming together at work and in productivity. I need to keep spending as much time as I can with my family while maintaining this awesome productivity that I've found and get to bed early, get some sleep, and then find a way to change my eating habits because that's the one big frontier that I have left is how do I get back to the weight and the eating habits that I had two years ago before joining Google. I also want to think about the vlog content that I'm making because my days look all the same now where I get up in the morning, I go to work, I come home, I spend time with the family, we do a nice dinner, and then we put the baby to bed, I do bath time, all those sorts of things. And then I have like this tiny, tiny window of productivity where I waste some of it with games like Minecraft, TV shows, dumb stuff like that. And then I've been finding ways to be productive in that time. It's not interesting to watch me write a blog post, or at least I don't think that's interesting. So this is the big question that I have as I'm headed into the 2020 vlog year. What should the vlog be? Should it be daily, even when a lot of my life ends up being low-key, cool productivity, advancing towards long-term goals instead of just crazy travel, crazy amazing things happening? I also struggle with how to cover internal, private, confidential things that happen at Google because that is an increasing part of my life where I have to participate in conferences and work with teams and things like that, and none of that I can really share, and so I don't know what to do with the content and the storytelling that I'm doing when more and more of it becomes confidential. So, Because it'd be so easy to say, hey, let's just do one vlog a month or one vlog a week and just capture kind of the best. But I feel like that will actually ruin some of the family storytelling that I'm doing, some of the personal storytelling where you have this kind of ground truth of what my life is like every single day that I think is a huge part of why I like doing this vlog. So I think I might actually get to sleep a little bit early today. It's about midnight right now, which gives me plenty of time to sleep and wake up and feel rested. So I'm gonna call it a night. Good night.